Hey YouTube Fish fan, we've got some red koi angels to unbox. Um, the seller from eBay last week has now decided that yes, the ones that they did send were a bit yellow. Don't get me wrong, they're beautiful. But I'm wanting some yellows and reds to get some breeding going on in here. So, let's get this open and see if they're red. So we'll look inside. So, excellently packed again. Got a couple of nice heat pads in there, still warm. Brilliant. And what have we got in here? Ooh. So they are a bit redder. I'm sure that'll come out more once they get in the tank. I'll keep you updated and we'll see what we get out of them. But I really appreciate the seller sending me these on. He's picked the best ones that he could out of the bunch. So let's put them in the tank. Definitely some more orange hue on there. So we'll let these guys get to temperature, then we'll let them in with their other fishy friends. Right, so these guys have been in the tank now for about 30 minutes. They seem pretty happy, the temperature's good. So, I'm going to let them out, see how they get on. There we go. Sorry for the poor camera work, trying to do it with one hand and get them out of the bag is not the easiest. So, these guys are not going to all be staying in here once I start getting some larger ones. Grow on like this. They're going to be going into the big tank at the back. So, these peacocks, I absolutely love them to bits. But, for the breeding projects that I'm going to be doing, I've already bred them a fair bit. And the profitability isn't particularly high. Quite labour intensive, especially if you're tumbling the eggs. It's not always... Um, particularly time friendly, especially compared to how many eggs you get back from rams and angels. Um, I love them dearly, but they're going to have to go. Oh dear. Hey, well, I'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe if you like. If not, leave a dislike or some comments below. Cheers, guys. Bye.